Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. It's Debbie. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the loveless biscuit recipe that I found. Now this may or may not be similar to the one because it is a top secret. Elsie and Roger went to Nashville recently and they were just raving about the biscuits. So I wanted to make sure that we were able to try it and see if we could replicate it. So I found a recipe online. I tweaked a little bit and we're going to uh, Go ahead and put my buttermilk powder in the water and we're just going to let it kind of like melt down here. I just went ahead and put my yeast and water together here. Temperature for this water has to be 105 to 115. It's going to foam up. This recipe is a yeasted biscuit recipe. So it's going to be like an angel biscuit basically. So I have five cups of self-rising flour. I have sugar. I have some kosher salt and some baking soda. And I'm going to actually just kind of like meal this together with my hands. Just kind of like mix it together. Now I am using white lily. Elsie and I use only white lily flour. We use the bread flour, we use the cornmeal, we use the self-rising flour and the all-purpose. I know that everywhere in the United States white lily is not available everywhere. But we do have it locally here in our stores in the South. So. I'm going to go ahead and take my one cup of Crisco or vegetable shortened, solid vegetable shortening. And we're going to go ahead and just start breaking these up into like pea size. I'm just going to work it into the flour, sugar, and salt, and baking soda mixture. It takes about five minutes for your yeast to bloom so it's gone probably about maybe three or four minutes now so we'll let it sit a little bit longer and then we'll go ahead and get ready to pour everything together now when we do get ready to mix all of this together you can actually use buttermilk itself we are using buttermilk powder give it a shot Add a little bit of water to it. All right, so you see now that my shortening is, it's mealy inside of my flour. I got some all-purpose here to be able to throw down on our pastry mat so we can make our biscuits because we're going to use, they said they're using um, like one and a half inch, I think I'm going to do about two inches of the biscuit, so. bit at a time here to start working our dough together You don't want to overwork the the batter or the dough. It's going to 
going to be a little shaggy. But you don't want to overwork it. You just want to be able to bring it all together and combine it here, okay? So I don't want to overwork this, but it is kind of shaggy here. So I'm just going to sling this out here on my countertop here. And we're just going to work this dough a little bit. of the bowl here and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get this here mixed together so I can go ahead and get these cut up and get ready to go on to my pan to rise so it's a little sticky so I'm just gonna put a little more flour on there see what we can do about trying to get this together There we go. That little extra flour just brought it right together. So I have self-rising flour here in the mixture, but I'm also using um, all-purpose to um, dust my uh, my dough and also my, my work surface here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. I'm gonna push this out, see if I can get these out to about Maybe about an inch and a half or so. Then we'll get some, get our little cutter, and then we'll get ready to cut them up, put them on a pan, let them rise for two hours, and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're ready to get, put it in the oven. It's gonna be good, y'all. We'll be right back. Hey, y'all, so I just put it onto my pastry mat here from the bowl and I rolled it a couple times just to knead it a little bit to get it together. So now I have it rolled out and I have it about a half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting them out. Then I'm going to re-roll it back up and make some more. This is about a two inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these here. I'm gonna let them sit for two hours. Cover them up with a cloth and then we'll bake them up.
I don't know how many of these are gonna make. So we will play it by ear. How many pans of these we need. This is the closest thing that I came to Loveless Cafe's recipe, because we still don't know. It went to the grave with that wonderful, beautiful lady who used to make them. So. Hey y'all, so we are ready to go ahead and put these up for two hours into a non-drafty place where they can rise. This is called an angel biscuit. And this is what it looks like. It's gonna be good, y'all. I can't wait to try it. We'll show you what it looks like before we put it in the oven. Get ready to bake it. We'll see you guys shortly. Hey y'all, the biscuits have risen um, in the length of time. I'm now gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees. Um, and I will show you what they look like when they come back out. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe.